Morning guys. So me and the boys are going duck shooting for opening season next weekend. And we were thinking of a best way to get our decoys going. And we saw these um, decoys that could swim along, propelled along. But to buy them, they're about $400. So I'm going to try and make my own. We'll see how it goes. But what I'm going to do is I've got this decoy here. And we're going to try fit this $40 remote control boat into the duck and make our own one and see if we can save a bit of money and then if it works we'll probably make a few more so we'll get into it and i don't know how it's going to go but we'll try it out and then we'll chuck it in the pool after and see if it swims along okay, we're going to start off with cutting this ballast weight off the duck um, just so then we can get it sit down sat down find a line and then split the duck in half That's the weight off. We might keep this for later though, just after we've put the boat in and we've put it in the water, it might be a bit tippy, so we might need to reconnect this somehow just to keep that weight down. It's quite heavy though, so the boat's only a little one. I'm not sure if we, when we do put this on, if it's gonna to be too heavy to push it along. I'm gonna cut all the way through the middle here to open it up. I was trying to figure out how to get this in without opening the duck up, but I'm going to have to because I need, what I want to do is I want to cut a smaller hole here so just the hull sits poking out the bottom. I don't want to cut a hole the same size as the boat because I want the hull to sit in and then I'll silicon around it to close it up. So we'll cut it in half and work our way through the top and then we'll join it back together through through the joint. Cool, so that's our duck in half. I'm gonna now cut this line out that I've marked and I'm gonna try and slide the back in there. I've put the duck in the water and it pretty much sits just above that line there, so I do want the propellers under the water line, obviously. So I'm just gonna cut a smaller hole and keep going with the Dremel fitting drilling fitting drilling just to try and fit it nice and tight but down into the bottom i don't want to take out a massive hole to start off with and overcook it and then this is going to fall through and be a horrible silicon job so we'll start cutting this out and see how it goes sweet guys so it took a bit of cutting and i don't want to bore you with 20 minutes of cutting but i think we're looking pretty good now <clears throat> so we've got the boat here the back's just poking through. I tested it in the water before just to see what the balance was like back and forth, side to side, and the boat on the waterline. So I ended up sitting the boat a bit up like that to put more weight at the back because it was a lot, I think, with the head of the dark, it wants to roll forward. So I've set the engine back, so that's definitely now those propellers are going to be under the waterline. So we'll silicon this in. Um, get that all set, get it all tidied up and hopefully waterproof and then we can look at fitting the top back on. Cool, so to seal it off I'm going to use the Sealy's adhesive. It's a good sealer and it's also a real strong bond which is not what I need because because of the plastic element of it it's going to be flexing quite a bit so I do need quite a flexible adhesion. So I'm just going to clamp that front there. At the back here, I've made a little channel, a little cutout. So when I clamp the front, it actually brings the back up and keeps it there. The duck. So I need to, once I've connected this back up to the bit that we cut off before to the base, I'm going to need access to the back of the boat for charging. 
so we're going to cut just this little tail section here and then put a hinge on it so that it's able to go up and down um, we don't want it to be too low we're just just a little flap just so that we can get the charger in there if it's too low it might get water in it so we'll just cut that up and connect it all up so we're actually going to hot glue the gar hot glue the top of the duck onto the base to start off with just to tack it I was going to silicon it to tack it but I don't want to be waiting another 24 hours until I can silicon it so we'll just tack it on let that dry off and then that means we can just do our final coat all in one right so I've actually before I put the top on I just chuck this little copper wire in to hopefully extend the um, signal because the actual top of the antenna here was sitting just flush with the duck and I feel like at 20 meters away it might not be able to be controlled so I just chuck that on hopefully I mean that's how I've got reception before by just adding a wire to the normal receptor so hopefully that does the trick cool so we'll start uh put a few hot glue tacks down Cool, so I actually ended up going around the whole duck um, with hot glue. So hot glue is actually quite a good sealant if you can get it all the way around. It's paintable um, and it's actually really strong. So I'm still going to do a silicon, final silicon join all around it, but that's good if I can um, get more, more adhesion then that's perfect. So Sweet guys, so we're all done. Hopefully we'll uh, go test it in a second. I've still got a bit of work to do on it, just touch up these with paint, but I'll do that over the next few days before we go away for um, opening weekend. But yeah, the back opens up, you got your little charging access in there. Um, motor there at the bottom, everything's back together. It looks pretty bloody natural, Just a, I'll just uh, touch up these and try and get these feathers looking a bit more natural as well. Um, but yeah, let's go try it out in the water and see if she floats.